Hello everybody and welcome back. This is our second make and take for tonight's online workshop and I am going to showcase these adorable little stockings. They are actually like um, a pillow box. You could put a gift card in there. You could put just a little bit of candy um, or even some cash. I know my teenagers would love to just get some cash for Christmas. So I actually made three different versions. Um, if you're looking in your catalog, it's on page 15, and you can see it here. You can see the different things that they've done. Um, I cased a little bit of it, um, but really, I mean, the possibilities are endless. The best thing about this um, bundle is that not only does it make the stocking, but you're also gonna get this to just make a regular small pillow box. And I have, um, a project coming up using just that um, I think in the next day or two on my blog so uh, this is a really big value I think when you get this the the stamp set is called tags and trimmings and it's got a bunch of cute stuff I've used it on these two right here this is the one that I'm gonna make for you tonight and this is the one you'll get materials for in your free make and take package if you decide to use the hostess code connected with this online workshop and the reason is is because it has no stamping I want you to be able to make these as close as possible even if you don't have the stamps yet um, but look how cute the enjoy sentiment is and the polka dots too are in the stamp set and this one it's what's inside that counts I think that's really clever um, so I do believe that if you're gonna get the framelits that you should go ahead and get the stamp set when you get the when you buy them as a bundle you, you're saving 10% all right, so let's get started. We're gonna need the big stocking, and this is actually gonna be the back side. We're gonna get the heel and the toe, the silver bell, and the little trimming here. This is a lot of die cutting, you can see, but it's, it's pretty easy. Um, this is the top part, and then the snowflake. And we're going to get that big shot out. All right, so you want to start with a um, piece of cardstock that is about six inches wide. You can get away with five and a half. It's just very tight. You have to really squeeze those in. And for the video, I thought I'm going to be safe and just use a six inch wide piece. So I cut a piece of eight and a half by 11 down to six by eight and a half. And it easily fits. You can see these two pieces fit nicely. All right, so there are those two. We'll set those aside for a minute. And now all these little bits and pieces, we're gonna cut them at the same time. Let's see if I can get them all, if I remember everything that we have. This goes at the top of the stocking. I love these because they have the little stitch marks on it. All right, so the toe and the heel. And then we're going to use some Dazzling Diamonds Glimmer Paper that is um, in the annual catalog to do the snowflake and we're going to use whisper white and it does look like I have a little piece left from yesterday piece of whisper white for that trim and then the silver bell of course needs to be silver so we'll put it there now all of them cut out really nicely um, this one is more intricate which means it takes a little more pressure to get those pieces all cut out so if you have the um, the platform that is for intricate dies and I can't remember the name off the top of my head use it on that snowflake but I'm just gonna run it through a couple times and give it that extra pressure and I'm sure it'll be just fine all right so there we have that one and the toe and the heel all right and then our silver bell and I'm gonna use my little foam brush foam and die brush to get that out and this one too needs this little die brush to help get it out this is a nice little tool to have on hand I use it a lot and then last is our snowflake and see I always flip it over to make sure it looks like it cut out just well uh, this paper is thicker than our other paper and and so combining that with the more intricate die makes it a little more um, tricky but it still cuts fine you just have to make sure that you run it through a couple of times and that you have some muscle to pull it out of there 
There we go, perfect. Let's see if I need to get any little doodads out. There we go, beautiful. Looks like we've got a little hanging on piece right there. All right, there we go. Oh, we have another one. Okay, there we go. All right, let's move that out of the way and let's assemble our cute little stocking. Now I'm just gonna use Fast Fuse up here. Um, this, I wanna point this out. This is a score line right here. So you wanna carefully push it in so that the paper will naturally take that shape and then really go back with your fingers and uh, score that line. That's gonna help you close up your, your pillow box part um, when we are all done. Now we wanna put this right up to that, that round line like that. And then I'm going to just put a couple of glue dots on this piece. And I'm using glue dots because I have no patience for liquid glue. I actually set my liquid glue out here, but I thought, you know what? I have no patience for liquid glue, so I just love my glue dots. So I'm just gonna put some glue dots behind the little circles, the two on the end, and one in the middle. There we go, so cute. All right, now let's do the heel and the toe. And the bigger one is the toe, so that that will help you remember. Bigger toe, big toe. I uh, When I first started making it, I was like, which one goes where? I can't remember. Oh, I did that backwards. The stitching is not along the edge. The stitching is on the outside of each piece, like that. Okay, now let me show you how to put this together. This little tab here is to help close up the bottom on our stocking. When you are making a regular pillow box, you're just gonna cut that off. Um, but we are making the stocking, so we're gonna keep it. We're gonna fold in these little edges, these little tabs, and we're gonna fold this in. Now I'm gonna start by putting some adhesive on this because I want it to fold in. Now I think there might be some other ways to do it, but that's how I have decided to do it. And let me line these up and see exactly where this is gonna go. There we go, and now I'm just going to push that in like that. See how that kind of creates that closure at the bottom? Now I think tear and tape is perfect for this because it's about the width of those tabs. So I'm gonna run my tear and tape along this long side right here and just tear it off. All right. There we go, and now I'm gonna carefully close these up and line them up to make sure those corners right there line up. And then we're gonna do the same over here. There we go. Perfect, isn't it cute? Now this guy, this is the little closure, and if you put him in first, he has a little fingernail notch that way it's easy to open that little tab, okay? So that's why that one has a little notch. And when you use your framelits to make a pillow box, you always want that one, you wanna do them opposite so you have one on each side. And then we're gonna fold that in right there. Okay, so super cute. So now let's embellish it. We're gonna start with this really cute snowflake up here in the corner. And then I'm gonna use some Whisper White woven ribbon. And remember, I have project sheets for each of these projects. So um, they will be linked um, either in the description of the video on YouTube or on our Facebook group page if you're watching this during the workshop. I will add it into the comments. So all the product numbers and all the details that you need are there. All right, so there we have that. Now, I am gonna use a little bit of glue here because if you know our glimmer paper, the only thing that sticks to it is liquid glue. Glue dots and dimensionals, those things don't stick. So you'll have to give that some time like that. All right, now I'm gonna take this guy, this cute little silver bell, and I'm gonna add it on with a dimensional underneath like that it's kind of moving around because my, my glue is not dry yet let's move that I'm gonna have to set something heavy on it 
All right, and then last, we're gonna use this adorable, this is new in the holiday catalog, the mini tinsel trim. You get two different colors in the package. And we're gonna use silver to match our silver bell. And just tie it. And I like for the little legs to go opposite on this. So arrange it how you want it, and then pull it tight. And snip, and snip. And then I just used another glue dot for this right here and there you have it so cute i am going to use these like crazy they are just adorable all right so remember if you put in your order minimum 35 dollars order um by monday evening this is going to be part of the make and take packet that i sent you send you you're going to get all the doodads the bits and pieces to make a very very cute um stocking Hello box treat. All right, you guys, let me know if you have questions and I'll be back in a few minutes with our next game. Thanks.